Well, good evening and thank you very much for this interview. Good evening, Brian, and thank you so much. Maybe just for starters, how has Zambia performed in so far as aid is concerned? Well, we fared quite well. Uh, of course, the challenges are obvious that uh, uh, our track record of aid management is fairly good, but this cannot go without mentioning a lot of other challenges, especially associated with abuse. Uh, I think uh, the testimony in, in, in memory, uh, the Minister of Health uh, fund that have been abused, uh, the roads fund which were abused. So those are some of the challenges that uh, we can say we recorded in terms of uh, aid management and effectiveness uh, in Zambia. Okay, you've highlighted on the issues of abuse of aid in various sectors of the economy. What would you attribute that to? Is it lack of political will or maybe weakness in the system? I, th I think this is more, uh, this, this weakness could have been, uh, can be attributed to the in-country weaknesses in terms of policy, uh, fisc uh, fiscal management. We, we haven't put in place a lot of uh, mechanisms that can prevent corruption and abuse of public resources. So most of the cases that have led to abuse of aid actually have been associated with corruption. Um, so you, you can clearly see that we have not managed to put in place as a country mechanisms which will prevent aid from being abused. So you could attribute basically that. Maybe uh, moving away from aid and talking about development. The PF government has just taken over office and everybody is optimistic and looking forward to you know, the government under the leadership of Mr. Michael Santa to deliver within 90 days. What would be your recommendations as CSPR? Well, it's an excitement uh, promise. And but we want to um, recommend to government that they have to deal with uh, civil servants' attitude and mindset because the delivery of uh, economic development, delivery of service to citizens is uh, squarely a responsibility of civil servants. But as long as the current performance and attitude, uh, mindset of uh, civil servants is, uh, this may not easily come. So government should ensure that civil servants are up to the challenge to provide development and services that come within the community. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks.